Yeah. Okay, who's in winners? Yeah, uh, Sage. Sage. Is. Oh, yeah, good, good stuff, Sage. Sage is waiting up there. Uh, loser of this gets fourth. Oh, I see. And I believe we're paying out top three today, so like loser's not getting any money. How many entries did we have today? It's, uh, 42. 42, okay. <laughs> Yo, risky homing attack. But I guess you can't punish for it. Mm. One thing about homing attack is if, if you see a Sonic going for homing attack, you, the best thing to do is to do an air dodge or spot dodge because spot then he'll hit the ground, and then he has, or he'll hit nothing, and he that has makes a, a lot, lot of, of landing. Like, if he okay. hits your shield, he's off scot free. Gotcha. That's one of the things that Cam likes to do is when he spin dashes into your shield, he slows down his spin dash and then goes for the F tilt right there. Like he's close to breaking Dill's shield. And Dill's just playing patient, let it he's not yep. being aggressive until he needs to be and gets that grab. Exactly. Cam just needs the And then Sheik with the speed and the spacing tools, it makes it a lot easier for her. That up air connected, I was surprised by that. See, you, see how much lag was on that homing attack? Do you think this would be a good stage pick for Sonic versus Sheik? Um, I just just in general, Sonic's like FD. They like just platforms. They don't like they, they don't like platforms. I mean, they can like platforms, but just having a big stage to run around your opponent. Yeah, I see. It, se it tends to not be working out for them though because Dill actually yeah. likes FD. So, oh my gosh, he tried to connect that up smash. Didn't quite work out for him. Yeah, Dill's looking very sharp right now. <laughs> really not looking to drop this one. Okay, goes for a platform. Jumping on stage with that up air. Alpha can sometimes be used as an approaching tool for Sonic because it like mm -hmm. extends his leg just a little bit forward. Wow, that hitbox. I actually and did not expect good, that to hit. Good DI from Camelange living that. But yeah, that connection. Like, it doesn't matter if the nerfs happen, like you can mm -hmm. still get that. And now, like nothing's gonna combo from Sheik now, because Sonic's at that beautiful percent where it's like he'll die from a KO move, but nothing will lead into said KO move. Wow. Especially as she continues to build more rage from all these hits. Yeah, Camelange really looking to get his hits in a lot, but uh, Dill's really not letting up on his wall. Camelange yeah. is definitely just uh, throwing in little hits there and running away, very ninja style. Has yet to get like a good solid combo going, He's struggling to get like that really first good hit. Yeah, Dill just threw away his knee, there's no question. There he goes. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what he needed, he needed to run in there, do a shield, get that grab. And he's, he's, he, Camelon just wow. continues hitting him yeah. with these weak hits, but not leading into anything meaty. Yeah, one thing I was telling him, I was just like, your your, your character knowledge is really good. Like for Sonic? Oh. <laughs> I guess that is the main character. He just made him look like he had no cooldown when I was playing him yeah. the whole time. <laughs> Dang, that up air. Yeah. Closing out the first stock, Dill with the lead. One thing that uh, Camelon is definitely struggling against Dill is Dill is very smart with his needles. He's throwing out those needles mm -hmm. bit by bit, not letting him approach at all. Whenever Camelange, uh, Sonic gets that up throw connection, it can lead into d different moves depending on percents and rage and stuff. Camelange has pretty much lapped those out so he knows if it's going to be an up air. Wow, good Backer. bouncing fish from Dill yeah. avoiding the up air. Uh, that was actually the down air. That was uh, the, yeah. Oh, that was his down yeah, air. Yeah, so okay. Camelange tends to like to uh, use you know, up throw. Don't it's, judge, okay? Every time no, I see a Sonic do up no, beat, I'm just assuming. There he goes. Ooh. No, yeah. That's what he wants you to think, though. He wants you to think he's going to go for the up air like he just did I there. See. Because then if you air dodge, he gets you with that dare and then actually sends you upwards. It's Kind of sneaky. I have never seen anyone do that. Yeah, that's Camel actually very Inch, interesting. Camel Inch does it. He tried to do it, but then he bouncing fished out of the way. And this is pretty even for how yeah, dominating exactly. Dill was that first stock. He just brought it back pretty well. Okay, yeah. See, this is a, this is a Cam's weakness. This these projectiles. Sonic just can't do anything to him. The bet, his best oh. bet, is probably to just uh, power shield the needles and just yeah. power through them and try to like. Keep at close enough range that he doesn't like let him. Like I feel like he's letting him charge the needles. You know, like he's running around because he loves the big stage. He's Sonic. He wants to run. He wants space yeah, to I know. move. That was one thing he was doing to me earlier too. He just kept running past me sometimes. Yeah. Like he's just all over the place. And but like Dill's using that to his advantage though. He's charging his needles while he's doing that. Oh he boy. Can't we just get to? Yeah. Okay. He as never I said, he got that hit. Never air dodges. Always goes for the up beat. It's wow. really good. Dill went for that up smash, and Camelan challenged it with that falling up air. Like, that could have been his stock. Very, yeah. very... Oh. See, I like that jab there. Ooh. He, like, got hit against the wall on the edge? Oh, that was weird. that's going to seal Connects it, right it does not care that he has nerfs. We'll Surprise make that Surprised that he didn't up B right there, actually. I, I, I'm i not sure if he was in hit stun or if he was... I think he had, I think he had Another the thing to actually, is yeah. uh, Sonic's, like, first instinct is when you're up high in the air is to up B out of sticky situations, which can work, but then you're in the air. Back, yeah. a, a, like, free falling with no jumps, no up B. I mean, you can do aerials and air, air dodges. But like you're gonna be predictable coming down. Yeah. 
So sometimes it's not always the best solution, but it probably would have saved his life there if he wasn't still in hit stun. I'm not sure if he was still in hit stun there or not. That was a true combo. And now we're going to go to town and city. Camelanch tends to opt to go for uh, FD and uh, t tends to go for FD or Duck Hunt uh, for like some of his counter picks, but he saw that FD probably just was not working for him against Dill, so he's like, okay, let's try Town and City. It's a small stage, it has a small blast zone. Yeah, so I honestly think this is a through. very good pick for uh, Camel Edge right now, Yeah. because not only does you know the stage have a lot of space, but uh, with the platforms, he can yeah. definitely, definitely catch him with some back airs, up airs, And Cam loves platforms too. Yeah, he, but he can definitely, he likes chasing you off stage with mm -hmm. bears if you go jump on those platforms. Dill's not going to have any of that. Very few times has Dill been off stage against Exactly. Cam. That's, Cam that's, at, that's what I was thinking last yeah. game, too. Cam is struggling to get him off stage. Mm -hmm. I was just going to say that before, how uh, he's actually not having a lot of troubles off stage, and they just haven't been off stage in general a lot. It's just mostly neutral base, like on e either in the middle or somewhere in the air. Yeah. Good stuff from Cam there, you know, spacing out the back airs. Doesn't, couldn't quite get uh, Dill as he was coming back off from the stage. Didn't quite work out for him. So much patience from Dill right now. Not even caring wow. about the pressure that's coming right at him. The man just jabbed. I thought he was going to go for a grab. Right there, wow, he, was, what a good he wait. was waiting for an air dodge, mm -hmm. but Dill was like, you know what? I'm exactly. just going to jump out of this Very situation. smart. Sometimes you just got to jump out. I love when Sonics do that. They just like throw out that spring like, stop chasing me. Oh! With the, the, the F smash. The, the F smash. The oh. runaway F smash. The classic brawl tactic. Still works to this day. It wasn't even thought of. It's just like, let me just put yeah. that right there for you. <laughs> and it's not too unsafe either. Like, there's not too much cooldown on the F smash. And that's what happens when you come out of your, you know, your comfort zone, your camping sometimes. That ends up happening. And here is where Camel Inch thrives. When he gets momentum, like, he's going to run with it. That was probably a misinput right there. I think he meant to hit the B button twice so the spin dash would actually go off. But then he just kind of ended it a bit. Avalanche with some really good patience right now. Dill keeps getting hit by those yeah. bumpers. I mean, it's only for two to four damage, heels. but still racks up damage, especially if he keeps getting hit by that. Yeah, it seems Camelot is definitely staying more on top of him when it comes to Dill charging deals because he does not have the chance to charge him. And that, that right there, what we just saw, is the classic Sonic mistake. You do a, a spring to dare to get down onto the ground because it's so fast, but you can easily get punished for it. And Try Dill saw it coming, got he the grab, and let it into his deck. Anything? What? He can't come out with a jab or anything? Like, cause uh, I know when he down airs. You can get him what before he like touches the ground. Like right oh, there. Okay. Like, you grab if you time it right. If you wow. know it's coming. You can you can punish him pretty easily and You're dropping it a lot led of sonic knowledge his, for me. <laughs> led to his death. I guess the bouncing fishes. Yep. One, two. Oh, but still throwing it the wrong way. He's not gonna let it face him though. Mm -hmm. It's just a couple needles. Not so, he doesn't play with his motions a lot. That's why I've noticed. Yeah. Once again, he got hit by the, <laughs> by the bumper. It's one of those things where it's like you start pushing the shield with your ball, and you're just like, <laughs> Cam, come on. This man is just playing games in, in the ball now. Like, he, he approaches, <gasps> catches him with that up smash. Good DI from Cam Lynch. Not quite dying. Maybe if a couple more percents would have done it. Nice catch with a bear. Wow. Yeah, really Dilla's wants that F smash. That would have done it too with that rage at that close to the stage on Town City. But well, we can both agree it's still very possible for Camel Lynch right now. Yeah. If he takes a couple more percent, then uh, still is going to lose all of his kill control. Oh boy. Yeah, that's one of the things. After post patch Sheik, like if this is pre patch Sheik, that would have been death, but he jumped oh, out of the way. Very good not coming down with the down air, but he was in no position to due to the platform. Yeah, he, he had the sure. platform. Exactly. Now that the oh. platforms are gone, he loses that safety net. Now oh, he's put back in that so situation. Right now. Oh, oh, but catching with a fell. sneaky down B. He, he fast Bouncing fell fish, to man. jump. We tried to, I know what he was going for. He's trying to grab that ledge on the right side. Mm -hmm. Dill knew it as well. He's like, I'm going to throw this bouncing fish for right yeah, where Yeah, he didn't even think about be. just falling, you know, air yeah. dodge. But that was, that was a good set to watch. Yeah. And Cam Lange ends with an impressive fourth place finish. Survival. 